Good evening and welcome to our show, Going Public. I'm Renee Fonseca and joining us tonight are Emma Nguyen, the Terrebonne Parish School District 5th grade student of the year, Alyssa Fonseca, the 8th grade Terrebonne Parish School District student of the year, and Mackenzie Claymore, the 12th grade Terrebonne Parish School District student of the year. Students in Terrebonne Parish are selected by their school based on their leadership, academic performance, achievements, citizenship, and service to their school and community and then they are submitted to Terrebonne Parish School District. These nominees are then forwarded to a regional selection committee. I wanna congratulate all of you for being selected as Terrebonne Parish School District Students of the Year and moving on until the next level. So congratulations to all of you and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to be here. First up, we have Miss Emma Nguyen, a fifth grade student from Broadmoor. Emma, I have a few questions for you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your family? Well, my name is Emma and I am and I'm at Broadmoor. I'm 10 years old and I am the youngest out of in a family of 6. My dad is Jean, he's he's a physical therapist. My mom is Kim, she's a dental hygienist. My oldest sister is Madeline. My old Mr. Twin brother and sister is Elijah and Sophia. Well, thank you for that information. If you had to tell me a little bit about your personality, what three adjectives would describe you? Well, I'm athletic, quick wit, and creative. I, I do many sports such as swimming. Shout out to my coach, Amy. I, I also do gymnastics and I also did try for volleyball. So it sounds like you have a busy schedule. So besides that, what are some of your favorite hobbies? Some of my favorite hobbies are archery and rifle in 4-H from the past two years. So you're also involved. I, oh, you can keep going, what's that? I also like drawing. You like to draw? So, as well. And you're very creative, you said, so you like that. Um, what is your favorite thing about Broadmoor and why? My favorite thing about Broadmoor is uh, all the staff members such as the principals, uh, the teachers, they're all so kind to me and they've all been teaching me since pre-K. And what is one person that you admire? Do you have a favorite teacher that you may admire and why? One person that I admire is my 100 year old grandmother great-grandmother. She has been so brave and strong through all her years that she has been leaving. She, she lost her husband in the Vietnam War and, and, she raised, and she raised my mom's side. She, she's been going through all these years and she also went to America to, to, persuade, to pursue the American dream and raised her family there as well. And also we recently threw a birthday party a few months ago for her 100th birthday. She still remembers my name and she's very sharp. Oh, that sounds like a great, awesome grandma. So I wanna thank you, Emma, for joining us. Um, up next, I have Alyssa Fonseca, who is an eighth grade student at Montague Middle School. Alyssa, I have a few questions for you. How does it feel to be the eighth grade student of the year? It feels very good to be the eighth grade student of the year. Just knowing that you can really be yourself and being yourself has gotten me this far. So I believe that anyone can just be their self and really just be their self mainly. Now I know with the student of the year process, you had to write a portfolio. Did you choose a certain theme and then why did you choose that theme? My theme of my portfolio was being in the boat and going on cruises. This was my theme because I really like to travel and I really like to go on cruises. So being in the boat can really relate to your life. For example, when you're on a cruise and you have the rough waves, they relate to my life from COVID and Hurricane Ida and stuff like that. And then like on a cruise, you go on many stops, which can be my extracurricular activities and stuff like that. So you made it relate to your life in general. Mm -hmm. So what else are you involved in inside and outside of school? Inside and outside of school, I am involved in beta and honor society. I am the beta president also. 
And I'm also involved in cheer, which I'm the cheer captain, which is very good. Like, it really helps me because I get to lead my team and I'm involved in soccer. So you definitely have a busy schedule as well. What has Montague done to help you achieve your goals? At Montague, everybody motivates you to really do your best. For example, I have a really good principal who has been helping me throughout like my whole journey of student of the year. And all the teachers and staff members really motivate you to do your best. And what are your plans for the future once you graduate high school or even your future plans in high school? In high school, I would like to maintain a 4.0 GPA and be valedictorian. And after high school, I would like to go to LSU to become a lawyer. And I would also like to cheer at LSU. So you definitely have some goals ahead of you. What are some of your best qualities? Some of my best qualities is I'm a leader. For example, the cheer captain and the beta president. I really get to lead people and it just makes me feel good. And I also am like, I like to motivate people. So I think that's a very good quality because motivating people can really help them and brighten up their day. Well, I wanna thank you also for joining us on the show tonight. Next up, I'm gonna to go to Mackenzie Claymore, who is our 12th grade student of the year from South Terrebonne High School. Thank you, Mackenzie, for coming. And can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So currently, uh, well, hi, I'm Mackenzie Claymo. I'm from South Terrebonne. I am currently involved in many things, um, really busy schedule. I am currently the senior class president. Um, I serve as the student council vice president and also the honor society president, so it gets a little crazy. Um, I, I play sports. I'm a volleyball athlete. I serve as captain, and it's just been a really crazy, fun high school experience. And I know your high school experience has been somewhat different. Um, last year, South Terrebonne had to platoon. What is it like to be back at South Terrebonne this year, even though you're technically not in the building, but you're on the campus? It's been such a like surreal experience just being back home, experiencing that Gator Pride. Like We still had Gator Pride at HL, but at the same time, it's just a whole different level and a whole different atmosphere when we're actually home in the swamp, and it's just a great place to be. And what are some of the favorite things about your community? I love how close our community is. Like, and truly, we all love each other. We're all looking out for each other. We all just want each other to be better people. And I love it about Homa and our Terrebonne Parish. And what is one thing that you have learned throughout your high school career? I've learned to never take anything for granted. There's so many things that have been taken away from me and my class and my peers that other classes have truly got to experience it all for each other. And I truly learned that everything is like you have to go 100% in everything you do and you can't take it for granted. And what would you, what one word would you use to describe your experience as both a South Terrebonne student and a Terrebonne Parish student of the year? Surreal. It has been truly a surreal experience unlike any other and I am so thankful for the opportunity. And do you feel like you effectively represent South Terrebonne High School and your district? Yes ma'am, I truly do. I think that I serve as a leader and I represent each and every one of my peers around me and that I think that they look up to me to be this person and to represent them like they want them to be represented. And then why are you so involved in your school and your community? I know you have deep thoughts about that. Why are you so involved? So I really think it's important to have a why when you're involved in so many things. And my personal why is my friends, my students, my peers, my seniors at South Terrebonne. They are truly the best people you could ever meet. And they just have so much heart and passion about them that they make you want to keep going. They make you want to do things for them. And they want, like, they inspire me every, each and every day to be who I am. And we all support each other. And it just truly is such a great group to be a part of. And I know that you have some people that you would like to thank as your high school years come to a close. Who are those people? So, so many people have helped me become who I am and truly let my light shine. Like my counselor, Ms. Fields, is truly amazing. My teachers at South Terrebonne, my principal, they all go above and beyond for me. But personally, I'd have to thank my parents first. They're so supportive and they give me everything I need, everywhere I need to go. They truly have pushed me to be this person. And I'm gonna ask all three of you pretty much the same question now at this point. Emma, I'm gonna come back to you first. 
if you had any advice to give to any students who may be competing for student of the year, what advice would you give to those students? Some advice that I would give to them to those students are like, try your best, push yourself, and stay enthusiastic. Be positive about yourself. Don't bring yourself down. Like, keep going in life. Even if there's a mistake you make, keep going, keep pushing. That is definitely some good advice. Um, Alyssa, do you have any other advice that you would offer? Some advice that I would offer is to really just be yourself throughout the whole thing because you want this for you, so you don't want to act like somebody else through it because it's really, you're getting it for yourself, not for somebody else, so just be yourself. Okay, Mackenzie, do you have any as well? I just say let your light shine. Don't be afraid to highlight yourself and who you are and just show who you are. Well, it looks like our time is about up. It was a pleasure having you all on the show. I want to personally congratulate all of you once again, and thank you for joining us. You know, everyone is very proud of you. Keep up the good work, and I like hearing all of your passions, and I'm sure all of you will be very successful in the future. I would like to thank you for joining us tonight. Please continue to watch us on Going Public. Good night. Terrebonne Parish School District is now hiring bus drivers. A valid CDL is required. If you don't have a CDL, we will train you. You must be able to pass a medical health exam and a drug test. Salary range is $19,253 to $29,859. Benefits include free health insurance and retirement. Contact the TPSB Transportation Office at 985-876-7400. Good evening and welcome to our show, Going Public. I'm Renee Vosica and joining us tonight are Michelle Pinel, Ashley Abair, and Emily Stoofley, the Terrebonne Parish School District Teachers of the Year. I wanna thank you guys for joining us and taking time out of your busy schedules to be here tonight. So thank you. Um, first up, I have Miss Michelle Pinel from Montague Elementary, who is our Terrebonne Parish School District Elementary Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to you. Thank you. So how did you feel when you were named the elementary school teacher of the year? I was totally in shock. There were so many people on the stage. I was not expecting my name to be called. I was, when I heard my name, I was like, was that for real? I, I just couldn't believe that. I, I didn't think I was that good. And how long have you been in education? I've been in education for eight years. I started my career as an accountant and I um, started teaching CCD classes at St. Joseph in Chauvin, and I started thinking, maybe I can do this. And enrolled in school, got a job, and started teaching. And what has been your teaching philosophy? So I teach math. So I want the kids to try. Try your best. Mistakes, I like mistakes, because we can fix them. So my philosophy on my, the, um, on my wall, I have mistakes are proof that you're trying. And so my kids know, I can try, I make a mistake, we're gonna fix it. And they can always learn from their mistakes and move on. Yes, so ma'am. Definitely a good philosophy to have. Um, do you plan to expand your career into leadership at any point? Uh, I'm thinking about it. Right now, I am a, uh, certif I'm going for my certification to be a mentor teacher. So right now, I actually have a resident teacher in my class. A resident teacher is what they used to call student teachers. And so I'm going to be working on my certification while she is in my classroom to be a certified mentor teacher. And what are the other things are you involved in in your school? Um, I also am the club sponsor for Beta. I do after school tutoring for math on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I, I do different things with the, with the students. And um, we're going on our first beta convention next week, so we're excited about that. 
Well, I want to thank you for joining us with it tonight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to Miss Ashley Abair, the Middle School Teacher of the Year from Montague Middle. So, Ashley, how did you feel when you were recognized as the Middle School Teacher of the Year? I was <clears throat> excited, of course, but shocked all at the same time. Uh, like Michelle said, like you just sometimes you just feel like you're not you don't you don't think you're good enough for it. And I honestly didn't feel or it, it didn't set into me until the next day when I went to school and my peers were like, you deserve this. You you work so hard for this. And then I was like, oh, OK, maybe I do deserve this, you know, but, I, you know, when you win something like that, you always think how why is this me like I didn't I didn't get this I didn't earn this and but. how long have you been in education I've been in education for 11 and a half years and what has been the best part of teaching in those 11 years I think the best part about it is the reward you get from seeing the successes of your students just watching them grow seeing how they go how they go from the beginning of the year till the end of the year um, is the most important thing for me and um, <clears throat> just even the smallest success that they have is so rewarding. And you teach in the community that you live in. How important is this to you and why? So teaching in my community um, is very important for me. I was born and raised in the bayou. I'm, I'm a bayou girl, you know, as many people would say. And I can relate to these kids and connect with them in many ways that others may not, you know, for dealing with the hurricane or the struggles that, you know, they, we all went through and even connect with them in other ways outside of school with uh, like hobbies. I, I love hunting, fishing, crabbing, you know, shrimping, all of these things that we do around here. And I love telling my stories to the kids and they tell them back to me and they just love the excitement that we can share just, just with those minor things like that. You have those connections with them. Yes. So I know you mentioned COVID and the hurricane. Mm -hmm. How are you working to catch your students up? So one of the things that our school is doing is we are piloting the program IXL. And through this program, we are able to remediate students and bridge those gaps that they were lost during the COVID years, as well as during the hur uh, Hurricane Ida. And we can, what the program does is it diagnoses the students on their abilities in math and even other subjects. Um, I use it, you know, particularly just for math. And I'm able to see where these students need to grow, where whereas I can bring them back up and bridge those gaps, even if it's just um, you know, bringing them up to grade level, because there are so many kids who are still so far behind due to the loss with the COVID years. And this program allows us to catch those kids up. And I know teaching at a middle school can sometimes be challenging. <laughs> what do you love the most about being a middle school teacher? <clears throat> I think for me, to, the best part about it is being a fifth grade teacher, I get to watch these kids come in for the very first time and see how they grow and change throughout the years from fifth grade through eighth grade. And it's rewarding seeing them coming back to me and by the time they get to eighth grade and telling me how much they miss, you know, miss me coming, wanting to come back to me and just helping these kids grow and mature from elementary to middle school is, it can be very difficult, you know, with middle school, but it's rewarding at the same time. Definitely so. Um, also joining us tonight is Miss Emily Stoufle, the Terrebonne Parish High School Teacher of the Year from Terrebonne High School. Thank you, Emily, for joining us. Thank you for having me. And then what subject do you teach at Terrebonne, and why is this subject and grade level passionate to you? Um, I teach Algebra 1, um, both honors and regular ed courses. And I love teaching this particular grade level because similar um, to what Ashley said, I get to see them come in then as freshmen um, in high school. And it's just so great because they come in so nervous and they're at this huge campus to them. Um, and they're just very nervous. And so to just ease their nerves and teach them not only so many math skills, but also just you know watch them grow from August through May is just incredible to see. You get to see that growth. Yes, ma'am. So besides teaching Algebra 1, what else are you involved in at Terrebonne High School? Um, the two main things I am involved in is being the freshman class sponsor. So I am in charge of hosting fundraisers with the freshman class officers and student council members throughout the year just to raise money for events they'll host um, throughout their four years of high school. Um, additionally, um, I'm a member of the school climate committee, and that's a committee we have at Terrebonne to boost both student and teacher morale. 
And so that's pretty exciting because we get to give kids things like Tiger of the Month, which is similar to, you know, to elementary school's Student of the Month. And then for teachers, we get to host luncheon, put little treats and things like that in their box and just boost the overall morale and spread positivity around the school. And as an educator, when your students walk out of your classroom, what do you hope they have achieved? The main thing I hope they have achieved is just gaining confidence in themselves because as, you know, um, both of these fellow educators said, you know, math is a difficult subject. It's something students struggle in and they're going to make a lot of mistakes. And so just trying to teach those students that that's okay and then the mistakes are going to, you know, make them grow and it's going to make their confidence, you know, just grow. And that's a skill they could take with them not only in high school but just throughout their life. And what has been some of the best part of teaching for you? Um, some of the best parts, as cliche as it is, is just seeing that student success. When you have that student just struggling so much and they finally just get it. You, you see it in their body language, their whole demeanor changes, and it's just, it's wonderful to see. What are some of the challenges as an Algebra One teacher or a teacher in general do you face? Um, I think one of the biggest challenges is just the negative connotation associated with math and you know algebra specifically because students come in and they're like you know Miss Stoufle I, I, I'm gonna fail I know I'm gonna fail my mom said she failed algebra my dad my brother you know their whole family and so just getting them to separate that and realize they're an individual and we'll grow and we'll get it but you have to have that mindset to just try and keep going and be your own person. And how do you connect to your students? Um, I think a big part of student connection is just building those relationships. And so I try my best to just get to know what my students like outside of the four walls of our classroom, their hobbies, their interests, sports. And I think one of the great things about high school is I get to then go see them in these activities and go to the football games, the basketball games, choir concerts, band concerts. I mean, with high school, there's pretty much something going on every night of the week. Um, and they just, they light up because they, they like to act like they don't care that their teacher's there, but then when you get there, they just get so excited, and then I feel like that translates into the classroom because then they want to perform for you. They like that support. They oh, like yes, having their teachers there. Yes. What educational issue are you most passionate about? I am most passionate about creating an environment where students just feel safe and heard to have conversations in math. Um, so one of the things we do at the beginning of the year, I have students create a social contract. And what this does is this allows um, students to state how they want to be treated by me, but also how they think I should treat them, they should treat each other, and how they should treat themselves. And what's so interesting is even though they do this on their own, the main word that comes up over and over again is just respect. Students just want to feel respected. And so just creating that safe environment where it's okay to make the wrong answer and no one's going to laugh and we're just going to help each other out and that'll be okay. And if you can instill one thing in your students that they would carry with them, what would that one thing be? Um, that one thing would just be that every day is a new day. And that is something I tell my students a lot because we all make mistakes as educators, as adults, as students. So just getting them to understand that, hey, it's a new day tomorrow and I'm going to come in with a positive new outlook. Well, thank you. It looks like our time is just about up. Um, I want to congratulate you once again for all being selected as District Teachers of the Year. I can hear the passion in your voices. You're definitely all passionate educators and have a bright future ahead of you as well in education. And I would like to thank you, our viewers, for watching. Don't forget to join us every Tuesday on Going Public. Good night.